Allow me to introduce Sarah Kozab and Stuart Shank, a compassionate couple who have dedicated several years of their lives to fostering children. Sarah's deep-seated passion for helping those in need led her to create a nurturing and stable home for children who longed for love and stability. Among the children Sarah has fostered, one holds a special place in her heart. A young boy named Michael. Michael's journey into foster care began at the tender age of three, as his parents struggled to provide him with the care he deserved. Initially hesitant and fearful of living with strangers, Michael found solace in Sarah's welcoming home. Adjusting to a new environment proved challenging for him. With bouts of frustration, leading to occasional outbursts. Yet, Sarah understood that his behavior stemmed from the difficult experiences he had endured, and she remained patient and empathetic. Sarah's dedication knew no bounds, as she tirelessly worked to create a loving and secure haven for Michael. She ensured his basic needs were met, from clean clothes to nourishing meals taking a genuine interest in his life. Sarah delved into Michael's world, exploring his passions, taking him on educational outings, and spending quality time engaging in games and activities together. With time, trust began to bloom, and Michael forged a profound bond with Sarah. In her, he found not only a caregiver, but a pillar of support and a source of comfort. As their relationship blossomed, Michael's heart began to open, allowing him to confide in Sarah about his emotions and past experiences. A significant step for a young boy who had kept his feelings locked away for so long. Sarah's unwavering commitment to providing Michael with a safe and nurturing environment proved invaluable. The challenges that came with fostering never deterred her, instead, they fueled her determination to ensure Michael's well-being. As Michael grew older, Sarah continued to offer her steadfast support, always holding on to the hope that he would eventually be reunited with his biological family. However, circumstances unfolded in such a way that reuniting with his kin seemed unlikely. Moreover, Michael faced the additional hardship of being separated from his older brother, Deshaun, who resided in a different foster home. Recognizing the importance of sibling relationships, Sarah tirelessly worked to arrange visits, facilitating moments of connection between the brothers. The much-anticipated day of the sibling visit finally arrived, and Michael awoke with a heart brimming with excitement, anxiously anticipating their reunion. He allowed himself to be dressed in his finest attire, with Sarah's loving assistance. As they arrived at the park where the visit was scheduled, Michael's eyes darted around, eagerly searching for his beloved older brother, Deshaun, and then, finally, he caught a glimpse of him from across the playground. Without hesitation, Michael sprinted as fast as he could and leaped into his brother's waiting arms. The two siblings embraced tightly, tears streaming down their faces. Deshaun looked up at Sarah, his eyes filled with gratitude, silently mouthing the words, Thank you. It was a moment that Sarah would forever cherish in her heart. For Deshaun, this visit was an opportunity to reconnect with someone who had been a constant presence in his life. Even during the most challenging times, his brother was his companion in laughter and play. Someone who understood his journey. It served as a powerful reminder that, despite their struggles, he was never alone. As Sarah witnessed this reunion unfold before her eyes, she felt a profound understanding of 
The significance of foster care. She knew that the love and support Michael had received in her home had forever altered the course of his life. Observing the two brothers embrace, she realized that the essence of foster care was creating a sense of family even in the face of adversity. It became clear to her that they needed to be together. And she needed to foster both of them. Initially, Sarah had reservations about fostering an older child like Deshaun, who was 10 years old. However, upon meeting him, an instant connection formed. And she effortlessly assumed the role of his foster mother. While the couple initially prioritized supporting reunification efforts, they embarked on an emotional and challenging journey. When considering adoption as an option, they grappled with conflicting emotions, torn between their desire to reunite the children with their biological families and their longing to provide a permanent home for them. On the day of the adoption hearing, Sarah and Deshaun found themselves sitting side by side in the courthouse, their hands tightly clasped together. Nerves ran high as they awaited the judge's entrance into the room. This was the day that would determine the boy's future. Sarah's heart raced, replaying all the precious moments spent with Deshaun and Michael in her mind. She had witnessed their growth and blossoming under her care. And the thought of them leaving her side was almost unbearable. As the room filled with anticipation, the tension mounted. Every passing minute felt like an eternity. And Sarah and Deshaun's nerves were stretched thin. They understood that the judge's decision would shape their lives forever. And the weight of the moment was overwhelming. Finally, the judge entered the room. And the proceedings began. Sarah listened attentively. As the judge reviewed her case, carefully considering the best interests of Deshaun and Michael, holding her breath, Sarah braced herself for the judge's decision. Her hand firmly clasped with Deshaun's. The atmosphere in the courtroom was tense. As all eyes turned to Deshaun, awaiting his response to the judge's question, Deshaun took a deep breath, gathering his thoughts, and looked directly at the judge. Your Honor. He began. His voice steady but filled with emotion. I have something to say. The room fell silent as Deshaun expressed. His heartfelt gratitude and love for his new family. He spoke not just for himself but also for his brother. Michael. Who was also being adopted that day. Deshaun's words echoed with sincerity and affection. Emphasizing the profound impact Sarah and Stuart had made on their lives. We love them, Deshaun declared. Our whole family is the best thing we ever had. I'm grateful to have these people in my life. They're the best thing I ever had. And if I could wish for anything, it would be to love them for the rest of my life. A collective gasp swept through the courtroom. As Deshaun's heartfelt words sank in, Sarah couldn't hold back her tears. Moved by the depth of Deshaun's love and appreciation, the judge smiled, clearly touched by the genuine bond that had formed between this family. I don't think I need to say anything more. The judge stated, It is evident that Deshaun has found a loving home with you, and I am pleased to announce that the adoption is granted. Applause erupted in the courtroom. As Sarah embraced Deshaun tightly. Overwhelmed with joy and relief. The moment was etched in their hearts. A testament to the love and commitment. They had shared throughout their journey. With tears of happiness streaming down their faces. They celebrated the official formation of their family. As they walked out of the courtroom hand in hand. The weight of uncertainty lifted. Replaced by a sense of profound gratitude. The family of four. Now legally bound by love and adoption. 
embraced each other tightly. Sarah and Stuart couldn't contain their happiness. Knowing that they could finally call Deshaun and Michael their sons and provide them with the forever home they deserved. Outside the courthouse, Deshaun affectionately kissed Michael on the head, a symbol of the strong bond they had formed as brothers. Sarah looked on, filled with gratitude for the unbreakable connection that had blossomed between them. For Sarah, Stuart, Deshaun, and Michael, everything had changed and yet remained the same. They were now a complete and forever family, bound by love and ready to embark on a beautiful journey together. Naomi, a black girl born in the UK to Ghanaian parents, grew up proud of her cultural heritage and the roots that connected her to Ghana. Unfortunately, her experience at school was marred by racism. As she faced bullying and hurtful comments based on the color of her skin, although Naomi tried to remain strong, the impact of this racial abuse couldn't be ignored. It left her with feelings of resentment towards white people and a deep distrust that lingered beneath the surface. Reflecting on those difficult years, Naomi felt like it was her against the world. She recognized that the level of acceptance and understanding in society was different back then, and hurtful words were often uttered, without much thought or consideration. But despite the challenges she faced, Naomi continued her journey, progressing through the education system, and eventually graduating from university. With an impressive degree, as Naomi reached a turning point in her life, she was presented with a choice. To stay in England where opportunities seemed limited, or to seek a fresh start in Australia, where she could create a new and fulfilling life under the sun. Opting for change, Naomi made the courageous decision to move to Australia, hoping for a brighter future. It was in Australia that Naomi encountered Matthew, a friendly and welcoming neighbor, who extended a warm greeting and offered her a welcome gift. Despite her past experiences, Naomi recognized that she couldn't judge Matthew solely based on the color of his skin. She was determined to let go of her preconceptions and give him a chance. I had been hurt before, but I can't let that define my present. Naomi reflected. With an open mind, she embraced the opportunity to get to know Matthew and forge a genuine connection. Through their interactions and conversations, Naomi discovered that Matthew was kind-hearted, compassionate, and genuinely interested in understanding her experiences. As they spent more time together, Naomi realized that her earlier resentment was unfounded, and she began to appreciate Matthew for the person. He was rather than the color of his skin. Naomi's journey taught her the importance of challenging preconceived notions and embracing individuals based on their character rather than superficial judgments. She learned that true acceptance and understanding could only come from open-hearted connections and giving others the benefit of the doubt. In Australia, Naomi found a fresh start and the opportunity to redefine her outlook on relationships and racial prejudices. With newfound hope, she was determined to build a life based on understanding, respect and unity, leaving behind the pain of the past and embracing the power of compassion and empathy. Naomi had carried preconceived notions that people with different skin colors wouldn't accept her. But her perspective started to change. When she met Matthew, he shattered her assumptions by being genuinely kind and non-judgmental, breaking down the walls she had built. They connected on a deeper level, sharing stories about their backgrounds, including Naomi's Ghanaian heritage 
Matthew's attentiveness and genuine interest. In her culture left Naomi amazed. And unexpectedly, she found herself falling in love with him. As their relationship blossomed, Naomi and Matthew enjoyed their time together. Going on dates, laughing, and cherishing each other's company. However, the prejudice they faced from others remained a constant presence in their lives. People would ridicule and question their interracial relationship, failing to understand the power of love and connection that transcends racial boundaries. Despite these challenges, Matthew stood by Naomi's side, providing unwavering support and strength. Eventually, Naomi and Matthew decided to build a life together. Getting married and having children. It felt like a perfect and fulfilling existence for Naomi. Surrounded by the love of her husband, and their beautiful children. Although the prejudice they faced persisted, Naomi had grown resilient and was no longer. As affected by it, she had found contentment and acceptance within her own family and the opinions of close-minded individuals held little power over her. While Naomi acknowledged the ignorance and intolerance that still existed in society, her focus shifted towards creating a better future for her children. She wanted them to grow up in a more inclusive and accepting world. One where people celebrated diversity, rather than ridiculed it. Reflecting on her upbringing, Naomi realized the importance of embracing different cultures and people beyond her own. She recognized that the narrow perspectives of those around her in the UK had caused conflict. When diverse worlds collided, with this newfound understanding, Naomi made it her mission to teach her children the value of cultural diversity and empathy. She wanted to raise them with open minds, ensuring they would be compassionate individuals who appreciate and celebrate the richness of different cultures. Naomi's determination to foster an inclusive environment within her family became a guiding force, shielding her children from the prejudice that still lingered in the world. Naomi's story is one of personal growth, love, and resilience. Despite the challenges she faced, she found happiness and fulfillment in her interracial marriage and the loving family she had built. With each passing day, Naomi's determination to create a more accepting world for her children remained unwavering inspiring hope for a brighter future, where diversity is cherished and embraced by all. After much contemplation, Naomi embarked on a mission to combat the prevailing issue of cultural intolerance and prejudice. She sought to make a tangible difference in the world by creating something accessible to people of all ages, bridging the gap between generations her goal was to put an end to the hurtful behavior of those who mocked and judged others. Driven by her determination, Naomi decided to write a book. Two years have passed since then, and she has successfully authored not just one, but two books that delve into the subject of multiculturalism in society. Through her writings, Naomi not only shares her own experiences, as a victim of abuse but also provides a platform for others to share their stories. This revelation was both poignant and heartwarming for Naomi, as she discovered that she was not alone in her struggles. The impact of Naomi's books exceeded her expectations. They sparked discussions about multiculturalism, serving as a valuable resource for individuals of all ages, including children. People began to educate themselves and their families, promoting acceptance and understanding of different cultures. Instead of pointing fingers a, Andy whispering hurtful remarks, 
Others now recognized Naomi for her courage and efforts to make a positive change in the world. Transitioning from the UK to Australia, Naomi recognized that while Australia prided itself on being a multicultural society, there was still progress to be made. She aimed to bridge this gap with her books, addressing questions about race and skin color in a relatable and enjoyable manner. Naomi's impact was already evident. As people engaged in conversations about diversity and embraced the lessons conveyed through her writing, with her books published and making an impact, Naomi felt a deep sense of fulfillment. She had a loving and supportive husband, two wonderful children, and a sense of purpose that propelled her forward. Those who once tormented her now regretted their hurtful words realizing the depth of her character and her capacity for forgiveness. Regardless of the color of her skin, Naomi stood as a shining example of love, acceptance, and open-mindedness, with a bright future ahead of her.